What's up everybody? Welcome to Today I Work On. It's been a little while since I did a video. There's reasons why, but I will get into that later. Anyway, today's video is working on the threshold between tile and hardwood, a rug, or whatever surface you have outside of the bathroom. This is a big pet peeve of mine. A lot of people install the threshold super high it comes up and it's like a step and that is not the way to install these thresholds these thresholds need to be completely flat so i'm going to get into how i install these completely flat from tile to hardwood let me get into it first step when you install your threshold is cover the floor obviously your second second step is when you don't touch your existing floor that's here because the thresholds are usually they're a certain size, but to make sure you wanna have a nice tight fit, put your tile down first. What I do is I run it from door jam to door jam. I run a straight line and then I cut the tile. I wait for the floor to set up. I don't put it in right away. The next step is I'm gonna measure how wide this threshold is. I'm gonna cut back the three quarter inch finished oak flooring. So that's the next step. So let me get going with that. Also, what I do is I do not put cement board all the way to the jam for obvious reasons because I build up this bottom with mortar. Dude, so I run also same thing. I run my cement board or whatever substrate you use. Do not run it past. If you're using Schluter, you gotta make sure you get a piece of like three quarter inch threshold because if you go to Home Depot, they have the thicker stuff. It's like five quarter and you're gonna have a step. So keep that in mind. This piece I got from my supply house, my tile shop, and it's around three quarters of an inch. So I have room to work. So now what I'm gonna do is, all you need is a two foot level, pencil, and then I'm gonna measure this. So what we have is we have four inches. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna cut four and an eighth of an inch. You know what? I'm gonna cut four and a quarter just to be safe. So four and a quarter, there's plenty of room. So it'll give me a sixteenth over here and it'll give me about an eighth over here and I'll have some room to wiggle. Now I have these lines, I'm gonna take my two foot level and I'm just gonna go across like so. And it's gonna work out perfectly because I'm gonna get rid of all this yucky wood over here. All right, next step, I'm gonna get my vibrating saw and we're gonna cut this all out. To be a little more efficient, I'm gonna use my circular saw. I'm gonna set it to uh, three quarters of an inch full, and then I'll rip as much as I can here. So. And that's the most I can do. I'll, ooh, I have to clean that up, but the rest, the two or three pieces, I'll get with the, uh, the vibrating saw. Now, if you're cutting through oak, uh, it's kind of hard and it's really rough on the vibrating source, so take your time with it and be patient. Next up, we're going to measure this threshold and I have 24 and an eighth of an inch. So I usually take an eighth off so I could give it a little bit of space. So we'll cut this uh, 24 inches with the grinder. So I'll mark it with a pencil and mark it with some tape. So 24 inches, check. All right, let's cut this. All right, let's check how it fits. And it fits perfectly. All right, very nice. All right, next step. We're going to put in mortar. I'm just gonna be a little careful because it gets stuck in here. But what I'm gonna do now is we'll fill this up with mortar. I usually cheat it too. I usually add some screws uh, just to hold it up a little bit. Now people are gonna be like, oh, you put mortar on plywood. Uh, modified mortar can actually be put on plywood no problem. So I'll dampen it real fast. And you can see this is modified mortar in here. It's not moving whatsoever. So let me, uh, let me start working on that. As you see, I'm measuring right now. So we have uh, five eighths of an inch and then we have about one inch to the tile. 
and then three quarters. So I'm gonna put it a little bit on a slope so it's nice and level with both uh, floors. You don't want this to be a step. You don't want it to have, you don't want to come up a half inch. I don't know why people do that. This bevel, I split the difference. So it's gonna be even to right about there. It just looks so much better. Trust me on this. So let me put in the screws. I'm gonna go 5 8 shy. And then in just a little bit. The screws are not holding up the threshold. It's the mortar holding up the threshold. I just like when I'm massaging in the mortar, it's easier to have the screws there so I don't have I don't have to pull it back out because you'll see once I set this piece of threshold, it's very hard to pull back up because the mortar grabs it really well. So let's uh, put in two more screws and then I'll get the mortar. This is perfect. This is exactly what I want. So boop, hit this with grout uh, and it's perfectly even. And uh, I'm just going to ease this edge right now with my sander and then I will uh, put the mortar in. With the plywood, now we're going to uh, put the mortar on. Let's uh, place in the saddle, threshold, saddle, whatever. All right, bingo, perfect. I could feel it. I could see mortar coming up, which is really nice. That means I have a nice base on here. And now I'm just gonna, I'm gonna even it off. I'll get a sponge, I'll clean it up. And then we will recap this video. Well, there you have it. This is how I believe is the right way to install a threshold. Now, again, everybody does everything differently. I'm not saying it's right or wrong, but this is the way I install my threshold. I hate seeing steps as a threshold. I like super smooth transitions. It looks way cleaner and I just like it so much more. So that's a wrap for this video. Thanks for watching. If you like these types of videos, please like them. And if you like my channel, please subscribe. There's a lot going on. I can't get into it, but there's a lot going on. There's gonna be a lot of changes going on. There's gonna be a lot of cool videos and uh, just stay tuned. So again, thanks for watching. Catch you next time.